Hello everybody, hope you are doing fine. This video is a continuation of a previous video where I've shown how we can divide up a piece of surface. And in this new video, I would like to show how we can perform object qualification on this piece of surface. Okay. What I'm going to do is to distribute this object onto this surface at specific um, locations on it okay? okay let's start okay the first thing i need to do is to associate this to a geometry component so i go to the params geometry click on geometry right mouse click and set one geometry and associate it to, to this okay and then Eventually, we need to populate it onto this surface uh, using the orient component. So I'm going to type orient, drop in the component, okay, and associate this geometry to the geometry input, okay. And then for the source, I need to create a plane. That is uh, corresponding to this um, region over here that will be plugged into uh, this, this source input. Okay, so I reckon what I need to do is to put in a bounding box. Okay, connect this, and you can see I got a bounding box. And what I want to do is to select this. Uh, surface or this space as the basis for the creation of our source plate okay and to do that I can put a deconstruct B red okay plug it here and then select the appropriate face using the list item okay so I'm going to type the list item By the way, if you are not familiar with this item, you might want to watch a previous video by clicking in this uh, region here. Okay. Let's hide the preview. Okay. So currently, this uh, plane has been selected. Okay. So let's use the index input to re specify it to this. Here, okay okay so plug it here and let's uh, use a number slider to be specify Okay, yeah, this is the plane that we want, okay? Or rather, this is the face that we want. So now, uh, what I need to do is to um, make this thing into a plane with the center being the center location over here, okay? So, let's do it by adding area component. Okay, plug it in so that we are able to specify the the centroid which is here. Okay, we need the centroid here for the creation of a new plane. Okay, you can now go to vector plane and I want a xy plane. Okay, and the origin being the centroid. Okay, so you can see, yep. We have a new plane now being created, okay? And this will go into here as the source, okay? Let's group this, okay? For easy uh, identification and organization, 
Okay, so yeah, we got this. Now let's um come back to here. Okay, for the first illustration, I want to uh, place this object onto the intersections of the um, trim surfaces. Okay, so it will be these areas here that, that I, I want to place. Okay, so um, the first thing that I want to do is to use a surface closest point component and plug this vertices okay these vertices correspond to this these are uh, points here onto this uh, point input okay so I'm going to plug this in and as for the surface it will be this um erect this this main surface here okay so I'm going to double click here create a relay and connect this to the surface okay I will need this information which corresponds to this uh, UV point okay and to have uh, planes been created on the UV points, I will need a component such as the evaluate surface. So let's put it in evaluate surface. Okay. For the point, let's uh, plug this UV point here. As for the surface, it will be this, this surface here. Okay. So let's connect this over here. Yeah, you can see that now we have these planes being uh, placed at these um, UV points, okay? And the planes are labeled as frame, okay? So I can plug this frame into the target of the orient. And you can see that, yeah, we have uh, successfully distributed this object onto these uh, locations okay okay the beauty of this kind of work is that if I were to make any kind of uh, change to the source geometry you can see that all the pieces have been updated okay okay what if uh, instead of placing these uh, objects at these intersection points, I want to put them at the center locations of each trim uh, surface? Okay, how do we do that? Okay, basically what we can do is um, we can specify the, the planes, okay, to have the origins uh, at the center region of uh, each trim surface okay to do that um, what I'm gonna do is instead of using the vertices right let's use the face okay the face of the iso trim pieces that means are uh, these individual pieces are uh, okay this 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 is the face okay so Let's put an area component like what we did just now, this one, okay? So, and then plug the face, which is all these trim pieces into the geometry so that we can get the centroid, okay? So, you get the centroid, okay? And instead of having the vertices as our input point, for the surface closest point, we plug the centroid into the point, okay? And you can see now, yep, uh, this object has been redistributed over here, okay? I think let's uh, put 
a preview custom preview so that we can see the form better okay yeah you can see now yeah so they have been uh, redistributed to be placed at the center region of uh, each uh, trim surface piece okay Let me uh, show you the full definition. Okay. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this um, video. Hope that's been useful to you. See you. Bye.